Hello everyone and welcome back to Born to Drive. If you haven't been on the channel before, my name is Alex Born and this is my M140i. Today is another modification day for the M140i. Don't slate me, I know the car's dirty. That's the first thing that we're gonna go and do in this video. We're gonna do a full snow foam. Probably not gonna do a full decontamination, whatever. But um, yeah, let's go get it cleaned. So recently I did a video with Hampshire Photography and I basically slated the Remus and I don't know why I did it because I've now sold my MPE and I'm back to the Remus again, which you'll hear in a minute. I just, completely think it's a very exhaust both costs pretty much exactly the same second hand now and as i say the remus is just on a complete different level it's just it's ridiculous don't get me wrong the mpe sounds amazing but the remus is just like you can hear it here and that was uh <laughs> that was with valve shut as well so I mean, just absolutely blows my mind. What I'll do here, I'll just go into Sport Plus. So this is just a cheeky little um, third gear pull. I will try and do later. I'll try and get some uh, flame clips in because, yet again, completely different ballpark flame wise. Just a cheeky little pull in Mexico. So the first thing I always do when I'm just washing my car, I do obviously have the ability to be airing up and down. So when I clean, I literally just air as high as I can. There's the compressor going away again. <laughs> I tell you what, air ride itself is absolutely fantastic, but when it comes to this compressor, I'm gonna have to get some sort of boot build done in the back here. But yeah, as you can see, you just hold the top button and I'll just show you from the outside as well. So, uh, <laughs> amazingly, it's still actually not very high. So this is, I've only got about 20 PSI more that I can actually pump into this. But um, yeah, just basically gives enough just for me to be able to give a good clean. Hello buddy, yeah, that looks nice. You can do mine after if you want. Oh, yeah, cheers mate. <laughs> oh, me, I was talking. Yes, I did say modifications. I do have one modification here. So this is from one of my sponsors. They are called Emerald Struts. And now a word from our sponsor. Is this you now? Struggling with your shopping?
If it is, you need emerald struts. So on BMWs, uh, like um, M140s, any sort of one series really, you've got your normal struts and to take these off, I'm just gonna try to focus the camera there. So you've got these little clips, you've got one on the top, one on the bottom. So it's definitely a lot easier doing this with two people, but I'm just gonna basically show you how easy it is by doing it just by myself. Only bit of advice I'd have is when you're installing these is that basically the, I'll show you, you've got, so this is the new strut, this is from Emerald Struts, basically all I'd advise is that you have this strut ready to go straight back in from where that strut has just come out from otherwise the boot gets a bit heavy and you've got to try to use your head to balance it and it just makes it all a bit awkward. Um, so yeah I'm going to try doing this one handed anyway and let's just uh, see how it goes but yeah first of all you just need to sort of oh, <laughs> of course but it might work from the bottom to be fair just give it a bang out yep there's one out and then on the top as well see how it just comes straight off so this is a ball the clip normally just goes back in as well um, obviously what I'm saying is when there's only one strut in, the boot's so heavy, it's just going to end up falling on you. So just get, get your other one ready. So they will only go on one side. So that is actually the wrong side. And then we've got this one here, which should be a bit better. Yeah, I'll give that one a go. So sorry about the poor camera quality as well. Trying to video and do this is a bit awkward but basically pop it in to this little ball there and then you've got your other ball here which you then just got to bang that into so you do actually have some little clips they are these little things so basically oh Oh my god, that's not gone well, has it? <laughs> what I'll try and do, I'll just try and show you on here. So, don't know how well camera's going to pick this up, but basically you've got these little clips here. Um, these clips actually sit between the ball joint. So, you're going to have to take these off before, sort of, you take, um, try to put these emerald struts on. But basically, your clips here. So you see how it just goes through that hole there and just push that round and that's then in place. And then it's exactly the same with the other one here. So pretty much you've got this side. You literally just push that all the way through and then clip round. So that's one side done. Obviously same with this side. You need to bang the old one out after you've opened up these clips. So just use like a little flathead screwdriver or something here. Just got to give it a bit of persuasion. Same with these ones as well. People are like, oh, it's so much force. Like it's doing exactly the same as the other one. It's gonna shut if you don't have two of them on there. So exactly the same with this one here as well. I'll just try and show you this ball bearing a bit better here. Ball bearing, what am I on about? God knows, <laughs> mechanic. But yeah, then second one up here, it's a ball joint. Get it right, Alex. Push this one straight in as well. You can see, keeps itself up. And the same with these here. Also, I don't know what, how well the camera is focusing in on these here. Hopefully, it's doing quite a good job. But they literally slide in like that. Just hold the joint in. A few moments later. 
<laughs> just had to stop video there. I did just realise that I didn't have this other clip because it was still down the floor down here. So yeah, exactly the same with this one again. Literally just on this ball joint, push it straight in. And you see here, it basically just sits in front so it can't go anywhere. And then, I'll put these all in the packet. Pack them off. So, same again, but this time, and voila. Right now, what I do for a job, I'm a plumber, I love my job, but at the end of the day, my interest is cars. My interest has always been cars. I'm always gonna love cars. So, this is the reason why I've started this YouTube up. I just, I want to be able to document more cars. I wanna be able to modify cars. I want. I just wanna push the boundaries in the UK, really. Um, but yeah, you just never know with these things. You never know what's going to do well. You never know who's going to enjoy it, who's going to hate it. Um, but yeah, if you did enjoy the video, make sure you go and like, comment and subscribe. Um, it really helps me out. It gives me the little push to go out and do some more things. Um, obviously, the channel has gone off to a bit of a slow start. Not how I wanted it to go. COVID-19, the whole malarkey, 2021 should have been a better year, but I don't think we're going to have much more luck. Apart from that, see you in the next one.